why should we confess our sins to one another? I mean, if we don't have to beg and plead and hope and wait for God to forgive us, then what value is there in confessing our sins to other people? They're not going to make us more forgiven by God, are they? But James chapter 5, verse 16, talks about this confession to one another. What did James have in mind? Well, he's talking about sharing your struggles with a trusted friend. Not so that you can be more forgiven by God, but so that you can be more understood by others. See, we need other people. We're designed to operate as the body of Christ, belonging to each other and sharing our heartfelt struggles with each other so that we can pray for each other. And so that's what James 5 is all about. Confess your sins one to another so that you may pray for one another. Your forgiveness was never hanging in the balance there. Your forgiveness was never in question. God already forgave your sins once for all. But let's face it, how can you pray for me unless you know what's going on in my life? And how can I pray for you unless you tell me what's happening with you? That's what James 5 is all about. In verse 16, James is telling us, stay in community, talk together, be real and transparent with one another. Because as you share your struggles with other trusted believers, they can pray for you and you for them. So, relax. You can have confidence that you're a totally forgiven person because of the finished work of the cross. Jesus took away your sins once for all. And if God is for us, who can be against us? Therefore, you can feel confident in talking about your struggles. This doesn't mean you stand up on stages all across the world and tell people about everything that's going on, your innermost secrets, but it does mean that you find people that are doing life with you. It does mean that you find people that you can truly trust and you confide in them and them in you. And together, you do life in Jesus Christ. That's what it's all about, transparency and honesty about struggles so that we can present our cares to God and the peace that passes all understanding will guard our hearts and minds. It's about prayer. It's about community. It's about doing life in Jesus together. That's what James 5.16 is all about.